In news out of the FINA World Swimming Championships in Australia, Guam's own Amaya Bollinger competed in the first event and first heat of the competition, swimming in the women's 400-meter freestyle, finishing with a time of 5.04, a new personal record for Bollinger. It's really an honor to be representing where I'm from. I was really nervous coming here at first because there's a lot of pressure from representing your island and coming to such a big meet. But once I got in the water and I started training, like, swimming is swimming in the end. So I was really excited to be with so many other people and be given this opportunity. So I'm just really glad I was able to get it. The Tennis Academy of Guam is holding two youth events this holiday season to keep children active and busy. On Saturday, December 17th, there will be a free youth beginner tennis clinic at the Riga Royal Laguna Guam Resort. The clinic will be held in two sessions. Session A, ages 8 through 16, will be from 3 to 4 in the afternoon. Session B, ages 5 to 7 years old, will be from 4.15 to 5.15 p.m. Rackets will be provided. Bring a refillable water container, wear athletic shoes and sunblock, Hats are optional. Register now for both the clinic and camp at TennisAcademyGuam.com as space is limited. For more info, contact Tournament Director Josh Cepeda at 671-483-8524. In futsal news, three shutouts were featured in Week 3 of the Bud Light Women's Futsal League, played at the Guam Sports Complex Gym. Defending champions, Guam Shipyard, Began the day with an 11-0 win over Bank of Guam Strikers 2. GPSI Southern Cobras recorded the day's largest win margin, a 12-0 win over PFC Toon Squad. And last season's bronze finishers, Quality Distributors FC, blanked the University of Guam Tritons 4-0.